Now I will uh, try and do some other uh, improvement on this machine. Revox G36. Let me explain a little bit something that will be the beginning. Using here my beloved A77, this machine has both focus. Okay. This machine has both IEC and NAB equalization for playback only. So, just playing back my tapes and having this to NAB, I realized that when I turn this to IEC, high frequencies would be a little bit boosted. Or from IEC to NAB, high frequencies would be a little bit muffled. So I thought like that, that playback IEC means a little bit increased high frequencies compared to playing back on NAB. If I want to reverse the my thinking about it, it's like Americans that, uh, use, that, that used in the past NAB would put more high frequencies recorded, recorded on tape. So the equalization they needed should not have so much high frequencies. On the other hand, Europeans that used to record on IEC equalization put less high frequencies on tape, so they needed these high frequencies to be boosted a little bit from the circuitry so that they get correct equalized output. So after that, let me show you something that has to do with this, ma this exactly exact machine. These are two schematics. This, ma this schematic is 50 Hz here, which is for, for Europe. And this schematic is 60 Hz, which is from, for USA or America. So look at that. This is the output amplifier here, one channel here and one channel here. And the same for now. If you see this resistor here, it's 10K. But to make it nub, they add parallel to this resistor here another resistor 27K. Obviously, they did this to reduce the resistance of this resistor and parallelizing it with 27, this resistance would be a little bit less. I don't know exactly, maybe 8K. Thinking that switching up, uh, equalization from NAB to, e to IEC means increased frequencies, I can easily understand that switching this resistor from 8K, which is the combination of these two, to 10K would also increase high frequencies. And I thought, why not increase it further like from 10, do it 12K, 13K, and get increased high frequencies from my machine, which is this configuration, 50 Hertz. I thought so that I could try this, and to try this, I, could, I can just put a, pot a trimmer, let's say 5K, in series with this resistor, and try and see if I am actually correct. But I strongly think I am actually correct because accidentally later I did see a reference on online that would suggest th this thing exactly. Okay, so I will build this now and see what output we get. So as we can see from the service manual, uh, the 10K resistor is the only 10K resistor that is directly underneath the valve and 
we can also see from the color coding that it's this resistor here. So I will just unsolder one part of this resistor and stick an, a 4.7K trimmer here so that I can check if changing, change, changing this trimmer increases and decreases my high frequency response on playback. Okay, I hope my soldering iron is heated enough. There is a small capacitor here that is also soldered on the same plate with this resistor, so I will take out this capacitor and I will uh, then take out the resistor and then put everything back. So this capacitor out. Resistor out. Capacitor is back in. And now we are ready to play with our resistor. I think this is the easiest way to put it. We don't have to be very accurate now because this is only a test. Just be sure that it is connected and hmm. need some solder on the steamer because otherwise it doesn't stick. Okay, now resistor is in series with the trimmer and let's see what we have achieved. Well, I first I initially used the 4.7K in series with my resistor. I could listen the difference in uh, the boosting of high frequencies, but it wasn't uh, so audible. So I thought that uh, my cell phone would not pick it up. So I I took this out and put a 10K resistor in series with the already existing 10K. And now look at that. I have here my uh, non-conductive uh, screwdriver to be able to tweak this trimmer. And have a look. This is original. Notice the difference. So I think uh, like that uh, it is uh, easily audible. So 
we have to put a resistor in series with the original resistor. Uh, I don't know exactly how much. I think uh, 5k would be a good value. Maybe I will search online and see, because I think I saw this modification somewhere. And I will check it again and see if they suggest a resistor value. So I didn't uh, find any reference. I found only a reference online that somebody would suggest replace this resistor 10K with a trimmer for, 10, for 10K to muffle high frequencies in case, in case you want it. I didn't want that. I wanted the opposite to boost high frequencies a little because of my old ears that don't hear high frequencies very well anymore. So, I will add a resistor and I thought uh, that the best uh, way would be to add a 4.7K resistor. Uh, you shouldn't do, it, do this too much. For example, add another 10K resistor and have 20 in total. Because too much increase in high frequencies means too much increase in his also, which is not a good thing. Always the tape machines are a, a compromise between high frequencies, good high frequencies response and his. So you don't have to make it too much because too much means too much his, which is not good. I did salvage two resistors, 4.7 resistors here from another board and then they seem to be good quality. So look. One resistor is 4.73, the other one is exactly the same, 4.73. So, these are supposed to be good quality resistors and I will add this to my circuitry here. That means, again, once more taking this out because the other resistor is somewhere here at the back. Okay, and now that the hard uh, out the part, which is the hard part, which is the back one, is done, I will do the front part, which is easy, I guess. Let me just take out this old thing that was I put here to test.
this part here. Here, if it's possible that this part will touch uh, this capacitor, so I will. Um, I will cover the whole leg and leave only the last part. Okay, this is how I did this one here. Have a look. You see how I did it? It's not as nice as it works as it was. So this is done. Uh, let me say something here. I know many will disagree with this modification because they will uh, think that I am ruining the original equalization of the machine. What I want to say is that first, this is my machine, so uh, I, will, uh, I will arrange it according to my ears. And second, this thing is very easily reversible. Even if I decide to give it this machine uh, after some time, sell it or give it or whatever, uh, it's just a resistor in series. You see? It's just a resistor. I take out this resistor, glue the old one here and finished. This side, the other side, finished. So it's not really a modification. It is a modification, but it's not a heavy modification. It's a very easily reversible one. And uh, for the time being, I will keep it like that. 